Okay, so here's the review of the JG M4 CQB R. The R means it's enhanced, which internally it was upgraded. I think it has a higher FPS spring, probably like an M120, and metal bushings, I would hope. Um, maybe a better piston, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, so this gun. It obviously doesn't have a stock right now or a battery because it's broken. Uh, my my friend also has the same exact gun, same model, same gun, JG. Uh, so his also broke. Like you're, I would not ever recommend buying a JG gun again, considering out of the three JGs we bought, three of them have broken in some way. One's completely broken right now. Which could be just a simple fuse, but that person doesn't know anything about how to fix their airsoft guns. So, I don't know uh, what he's going to do. So, when you get the gun, your battery is not going to fit in the stock. I mean, it'll fit. Don't you believe me. But, once you get that thing in there, you're, you're not going to get it out. So, uh, you better uh, have duct tape to tape the battery down. Or prepare for a broken battery if you ever planned it. I mean, you can charge it with it in the stock, so that'll pretty much fix that problem, I guess. But that's what I did. But when I first got it, the battery broke when I tried to get it out of the stock. But luckily, I got a new one for free. So, Airsoft Mega Store, good customer service. That was when I had no, no clue about anything. So. This gun, it's plastic, it's very, very lightweight, probably it's like the lightest gun we have. Uh, it's, you know, semi, semi auto, or semi auto, 300 ground mag. Uh, right here, 300 ground mag. Put it in there, it works, blah, blah, blah. It, you can use any. Tokyo Maroi mags, Classic Army, any M4 mag works. That's what's good about an M4. Uh, the barrel, barrel is very short on this gun. Um, wait a second. Okay, just popped out the metal pin. Okay, uh, you can see your spring. Uh, my barrel on this gun. One time it jammed and I took it out and the hop up kind of uh, fell off ish. So I glued that back on there and it, it the hop up never physically broke just like the lever. But now the problem I have is it jams no matter what. The barrel is very short so you're not going to be accurate. And this gun's shooting like over 400 FPS so if you're playing CQB, uh, Whoever you play with is either gonna get raped or you're not allowed to or you're not gonna be allowed to play there. So I'm not gonna go like take it apart anymore just because I don't have the tools like with me. I just used a pin to pop the thing out, pop the bottom pin out. So uh, don't buy this gun. It's gonna break. Parts will come loose. It's too powerful for the money. For what you're buying, it's like $130. It's not going to last. You got a lava lid right here. Uh, what else? I mean, my friend, it still shoots. It's And it hurts pretty bad. It's just not a durable gun. Like Externally, it's fine. Internally, with wiring and stuff like that. See, but the fuse, the, fuse, the fuse didn't actually break. The casing of the fuse broke. Which is just sad. So... Don't buy this gun. Get a SEMA or a, I don't know, G and G. Uh, they're they're plastic models. They have cheap plastic ones. I kind of want one of those. Uh, get one of those, and you'll be happy. So thanks for watching. Uh, the only you could take an M4 apart. That's pretty good about it. Really easily. But thanks for watching. Uh, rate and subscribe, and have a nice day.